Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Judges chapter 16, go down to verse 4, talking more about Samson and the stupidity levels here are over 9,000! Afterward it happened that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek whose name was Delilah. I think most of us Christian and not have heard that name. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Entice him and find out where his great strength lies, and by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And every one of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. We don't know how many elders there were. I can only assume that, you know, 1,100 pieces of silver amongst all the elders of the Philistines is probably a pretty good chunk of change. So for the sake of money, Delilah's like, yeah, let's, let's, let's get the guy being the ever-loving woman that she was. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound to afflict you. And Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. The thing that he said would make him lose his strength. Now men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room. And she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he broke the bowstrings as a strand of yarn breaks when it touches fire. So the secret of his strength was not known. Then Delilah said to Samson, Look, you have mocked me and told me lies. Now please tell me what you may be bound with. Now this goes on a few more times, until eventually she pesters him so much that he gets sick of the pestering, actually tells her, I'm a Nazarite, I've never had my hair cut since the day I was born. If my hair is cut, then I will lose my strength. And so after multiple times of her actually doing the thing that he said would make him lose his strength, he eventually tells her the truth. Like even if he didn't see the Philistines in the room with him, even if he didn't know there was an actual ambush, she was still doing the things that would make him weak. So he trusted her with this information, with the actual truth, with what would actually make him weak, even though she repeatedly did things that would have made him weak and susceptible to an attack. He trusted her that much. Is it, and if, as if that wasn't stu like, you know, if, I'm trying to think of an example. Like, if somehow I had some superpower, um, and you know, and then I told him, oh yeah, this is, this is my one weakness, and I'll lose my superpower if you do this, and then someone actually did that, you don't prank somebody with something like that. It's something that could legitimately hurt someone. You don't pull a prank like that. I mean, like, I think pretty much all people would agree, you know, a prank that will seriously hurt someone, that's wrong. That's bad. That's not acceptable. And she's, I mean, he's been at war with these people. He's killed several of their people. He's not the Philistines' friend. And she's doing things that could put his life in legitimate danger. And this idiot trusts her? What? And so eventually, what ends up happening, he gives her the truth, and um, she shaves his head. So jump down to verse 20, and she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. As if the woman hadn't done what you said would make you weak each and every time, why would you do something different however many times? I think this was like the fourth time mentioned in Scripture. Why would you do something different this time? Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. They bound him with bronze fetters and he became a grinder in the prison. There are so many things wrong with this story. One, he wasn't supposed to be with um, a non-Israeli woman. He should have learned that after the first woman that he dated a few chapters ago, but the Lord was using that as an occasion for him to attack the Philistines. He should have learned right then and there, obey the Lord's commandments. He was a judge in Israel. I'm assuming he knew the law of the Lord in order to be a judge of Israel, and he judged according to that law, unless he made stuff up along the way, and as dumb as he was here, he might have done that. I don't know. It's just... I mean, there's this... I know I'm supposed to love and be merciful and all that good Christian stuff, but when I see levels of stupidity this bad, it gets under my skin really, really bad. Let me know in the comments what you think of this story and what you think about my pretty much lack of mercy on Samson. You know, I, I, I just repeat, I just repeat what I said in my previous video. Samson 
is a disappointment. So much potential, and he just wasted it all because he had a love for ungodly women and probably sex in general. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I'm gonna, there will be a follow-up on this. For, um, I didn't finish reading this chapter today because I want to do the finale on Samson tomorrow. I love you guys. God bless.